Let's talk security. Here's my application. Now, I don't really want everybody to come in and be able to create or delete new books. So what happens now if I go into the server and I try to just create a book? As you can see, I added this permissions so that only people with administrator access to this account could edit or delete these books. The way that I done it is everybody can come in and look at the list of books. However, if you're interested in deleting this book, you need to have the proper permission. So how do we set these permissions? In the Google App Engine, permissions are set via the web.xml file. If you want to find out more information about this, you would go to the Google App Engine for Java information page, uh, the documentation, sorry. You would click on Configuration. You click on the Deployment Descriptor. And then there's a big piece about the security and authentication um, restrictions that are allowed in the Google App Engine. Essentially, um, you have two roles. You have a star role or a admin role. And basically, the admin role requires you to be a developer of the Google App Engine application, while the star role requires you to just be any user. So let's say you're building a social networking tool or you're building an event sharing application and you want your users to authenticate, the easy way to do it is just say, for those patterns, do... Um, let this user be kind of a star role. If, however, in my like in my case, you're building uh, administ an administrator interface, um, you would just set the role to be admin. Now, re currently, there's not um, a way built into the Google App Engine plugin to do this um, automatically. So you would go into your project. Um, now, there is a web.xml template, so in order to add your permissions here, one of the ways to do it is you would go to Source, Templates, and then there's a directory here called War. You would open up this file, war.xml, and you would just come in here and you would copy, let's say, this authentication block, and you would paste it and you do it for every single one of your um, admin commands. So in here, if I want, okay, I want my book index to not be restricted, I would just do that. Um, so at the end of the day, I would save this and I would just deploy it into the Google App Engine and you would give me uh, the right permissions and the right authentication. Now that seems like a lot of work, you know. Again, we're editing XMLs by hand. So I created this patch for the Google App Engine. Um, the way that you would install this is um, there's you would go to your dot grip. So here's my I'm at my user home. You would go into your dot grails directory. You would go to the one 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 folder. You would go into your project name. So my project name is. So I would do projects rails one one one, and then in here you would see kind of um, a plugins directory. So if I just go in into the plugins directory, I would see the app engine zero point zero point eight one um, folder, and I would just apply this patch here into that folder. After I have done that, what this allows me to do is it allows me to just set a line in the config.xml and say, listen, for this um, admin roles, generate me the right um, security descriptors. So basically the same thing we did here, but um, done more compactly. So you, all you have to do is you specify this closure. Um, so for our config.groovy, for example, so this is um, located under uh, your application, Grails GAE, conf, config.groovy. What you would do here is you would come in and you would just add uh, all your closures. So here I just, all, all your patterns. So here I done Google App Engine Security, Require Admin, and then I just added a bunch of patterns that I want to be authenticated. 
Now, in order to see that this has worked, all I have to do is I call Grails App Engine, and then I use the command package. Now, what package means is um, just show me my application um, before it gets deployed. So it creates kind of an expanded war file that the Google App Engine uses. Um, if you ever have any bugs or if you're ever working with, um, if you ever have any problems deploying to, to the Google App Engine, you can always call this package command, which um, generates the war file that gets deployed. So in here, I see that it has created a target directory and it has created a war. So I can come in and I can look at this web.xml file and as you can see, it has created all the security constraints for me here based on those mappings. So it's up to you. Um, I recommend uh, this second method just because it's less error prone. But uh, that's essentially how you would uh, just set up the security constraints for your application. Now, after doing that, you can just go into your, um, you can go to your application and now everything is being authenticated for you. Um, one more thing that I want to show you is um, how to add new users. So the way to do that is you would go to adspot.com you would sign in and then just pick your application. So here's Grails GAE. And as you can see, um, this is the management console and it shows you um, all your bits, all your pieces, and you know what has been changed over the time, your bandwidth use. As you can see, I have uh, 10 gigabytes left and 50 CPU hours left. So as you can see, the bandwidth here is sufficient. Now, in order for me to edit this, I would go to Administrator, I would go to Developers, and here I would just add a new developer. Now, after this person has accepted my invitation, they would be able to come in and add books to my libraries. So that's it. That's how you would authenticate. Um, oh, this is a Flash component, but that's how actually you would authenticate any Google App Engine application on the web. So I hope that was useful and uh, thank you very much for watching the screencast.